My name is Chef Vegas Vance. So since 42, we had had restaurants and I was third generation. And for many, many years, of course, people saw us and they, they ate our food and they enjoyed what it was. But you know, they didn't necessarily know all the things, of course, that had to happen within the family for us to maintain family business. Okay, now this was the original location and my grandfather got it. We got here in 1942 from Mount Pleasant, Texas. And he came here to the Mount Pleasant area. So we have our patrons coming out and she, she's getting her bike feed too. Um, but he came here and he thought that it was kind of a good omen as it where I guess that he would come from Mount Pleasant, Texas to Mount Pleasant, Cleveland as it were, because this is the area it's called. So this was the regular location in 1942. So hey, here we are many, many years later. We still cooking some of the best barbecue in Cleveland. So we'd like to show you guys some stuff inside here. Just some of the little nostalgic things that you guys might like. Hey, come on in. Okay, so now this is this is the area that we initially have started out with just carry out. You know, okay, so my granddad when he came here, he liked to do more service. You know, he was kind of a more service orientated guy, especially back in the late forties, early fifties. People would come by with their families and sit down and eat here. So he had a area on the other side where we sat out and we served them actually on the plate. But over the years, you know, as time got a little bit different, a little bit better or worse or whatever, we got more into the carry out. So now we just would take we put the boxes together. We used to fold the boxes up. We used to race folding the boxes. It was funny. It was a lot of little stories that we could talk about. But still, we would fold the boxes up and put the food in there, wrap the uh, uh, food up in paper and all that stuff. So hey, we've had a, 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 a history that uh, is unmatched by many people in Cleveland. But hey, we still here. We still here with them. physical food. Uh, we see that uh, myself, we were able to cook this physical food for many, many years. Um, these uh, almost come up on 80 years of cooking this food, but the spiritual food, of course, is food that will allow people to, to be fed mentally, emotionally, it will feed your spirit so that you would, even though, and let's say, because if you were to eat some good food, the physical food, and if you weren't spiritually right, then you still wouldn't really be right. Your health, you know, your organs might work okay, but then to have your emotion and everything in place without the proper spiritual food, that, that would be difficult for everybody. So I think that these types of food, and that's the importance of food and family. And then how do I have fun? Because I think fun has to be part of everybody's existence too. If you're not having fun with your life. You in the sauce, you in the meat. <laughs> then you're not going to be, uh, you know, as, as good and as a creative a person as you may want to be. Well, is this Chris? You said George, don't ask for which is right. Is this light skin Chris or dark skin Chris? Probably. Light skin? Uh, fun, okay. even during this pandemic, um, we, we, as a family, were able to survive during the time of the pandemic in spite of the fact that, unfortunately, in the Cleveland area, they said upwards of 800 restaurants would actually close, but we were able to keep our family restaurant, you know, um, open. And I think that part of that was that uh, we've always developed a good relationship with our customers. Uh, we were able to talk to them. We spent time with them. Um, we were able to, uh, uh, you know, say sometimes when the Browns is off or the Indians is off or whatever, you know, we, 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 well, I didn't cry, but I, sometimes I wanted to, but I didn't. <laughs> so we were able to get, you know, together and talk to them and then go through different situations in their family. And of course, uh, you know, whatever it may have been, if they needed a chicken wing and didn't have enough money, well, we fed them. <laughs> 
idiot would do. <laughs> identical twin chef Vegas Vance I have um, my, my twin brother uh, his name and we, we you know uh, affectionately call him and I would say Burge is a guy who has kind of been the coordinator of our family you know within the siblings because there's four of us it's, uh, I have a, 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 of course two brothers and a sister and Burge was kind of the coordinator of all of us uh, he always was kind of kind of the level-headed guy uh, kind of like my uh, my dad and then um, my sister and so I will call him okay so that's that is Chef Cleveland Burge. Okay, so then I have my sister. Are you light skinned or brown skinned? <laughs> are you tall or are you short? Are you old or are you young? Are you ugly? Are you yeah, ugly? My are you sister, ugly? Who, who was dealing with these three boys because it was us three. And, uh, you know, sometimes I didn't think her to be uh, such a, you know, tough cookie, but she was a tough cookie. I had to be a tough cookie with these three boys because, you know, uh, boys can be something. <laughs> and we were we were all of that, that's for sure. But uh, we were all, she, we thought she was kind of bossy, and she really is, but it's the boss lady, V. And then my younger brother, now, he tended to be one that was kind of, you know, looking for a little bit more of a, attention. And, you know, it seemed like as a younger younger uh, sibling, uh, my mom and dad tended to kind of cater to him a bit because we was, you know, f well, almost five years older than him. So, um, you know, as we grew up, you know, he kind of got some of the, you know, I'll say the baby privilege, the baby boy, you know, <laughs> baby brother. And, and that's the master blaster. You know, that's my brother, Vernon. So like I said, we, it, you know, this this thing is, um, it, it's, it's incredible. I mean, I've, it, it's been good times, it's been bad times. It's never, you know, I wouldn't say we have perfect lives. But again, if you can, if you got some fun in the situation, or okay, if you got some family in the situation, and some good food, and you can have a little fun, well, it's not going to be a bad time for you. So that's that's kind of you know where we start with whatever we do, and if it's all possible, we would definitely would love to have the opportunity to, to expose others to how we made it through this whole situation, this journey of over almost 80 years, three generations long deep, man, the pandemic. We still here, <laughs> and we love you guys.